how to create a website for free. Let's get to it. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is David. So how do you create a website for free? Now, websites have three main working parts. You have your domain name, you have your hosting account, and you have your content management system. And all three of these parts work together to create your website. So let's break down each part in more detail. Domain name. So everybody wants to get a free domain name, but I have to tell you, free is not free. You're going to have to crack open the wall and pay a small fee to register a domain name. Now, don't worry. Domain names aren't particularly expensive, but they do cost money and there's no real way to get a free domain name online. If you see anyone saying that you can get a free domain name, they either are lying to you or they don't know what they're talking about. Because like you'll see Bluehost and HostGator and Wix, etc. offering like a free domain name with their account, but you got to read the fine print that it's free for the first year. And then after that, you have to pay an expensive renewal rate because what people don't realize, I think beginners don't understand is that you can't own a domain name forever. You have to register and then pay renewal rates on the domain name to keep it active every single year. And so with Namecheap, you can register a domain name for 888 a year and you can register it for like five years in advance if you want. Whereas you can get a domain name for free with Bluehost technically, but after the first year, you're they're going to charge you $17.99 a year to renew your domain name, which is equivalent to the cost of two years. So it's like a phantom cost where it's free, quote unquote, for the first year, but you're then you're going to be paying $17.99. Whereas like if you just registered your domain name at Namecheap, you're paying $8.88 a year. And this is why I always say that free is not free. Use a domain name registrar to get your domain names. I recommend Namecheap. I recommend Porkbun. I recommend Dynadot. Those are my three favorite spots. Oh, Google domain names as well is a good spot. I personally use and recommend Namecheap. That's my go-to domain name registrar, but there are a few good alternatives. I also have videos on this channel of the best domain name registers that you can check out. So let's continue. The second part of setting up a free website is getting free hosting. So are there free hosts available online? that you can take advantage of? The answer is yes, absolutely. I have another video on this channel about the best 10 free web hosts that you need to know about that you can check out. But in general, free web hosting comes in a few different forms. So the first form is that the company will allow you to create your website and it's going to be a subdomain of their site. So for example, like Wix.com has a free plan, but then your site is going to be like mysite.wix.com. Shopify does the same thing. So it's going to be mywebsite.shopify.com. Card.co does the same thing, mywebsite.card.co. And so most people, like that's okay to get started. That's okay to set up your site for free, you know, design, learn how these platforms work. But then when you're going to want to set up a custom domain name that you registered at Namecheap, you're going to have to pay money. So you can't get away from paying a fee. Now you could instead take advantage of a free web host, but something to be aware of with free web hosting accounts is that their business model is twofold. One is either they offer a free plan, but it's extremely limited. And so obviously they don't want you building a site, a high traffic website. So their goal is like to get you in with the free plan, have you set up your website. Then once you start getting a decent amount of traffic, then have you upgrade to a paid plan or it'll be a free web host, but then they'll display ads on your site, which nobody wants. But those are your options, okay? It's either to have a subdomain of a, another website, take advantage of a free web host where they give you a very limited account, or take advantage of a free web host where they display ads on your website. And the last part of creating a free website is the content management system. And so the content management system is exactly what it sounds like. It's the software on the back end of our website that allows us to create blog posts, pages, embed videos, upload images, design the look and feel of our website. Now you have a few different options. You can use a free open source content management system like WordPress, so you can get a free hosting account. With your free hosting account, then you can install WordPress and design and edit your website that way. Or you can use a website builder like Wix. For example, you can sign up to Wix completely for free, design a beautiful website, but it's going to be a subdomain of Wix. You can also do that with card.co, Google Sites, and a few other different options. But those are your primary options, okay? You can get a hosting account for free and then install WordPress, or you can use a website builder and create a subdomain website. So that's it for the three aspects that you need to pay attention to when creating a website for free. You have to get a domain name, hosting account, and content management system. Now, while you can get each one of these items for free in some capacity, there's always a catch. And you can't get all three for free at the same time. It's impossible. You're going to have to crack open the wall and spend a little bit of money. Now, what do I recommend people do? It really just depends on what your goal is. If you're someone who's like, I want to create like a five to 10 page website, something simple, then I recommend Google Sites. If you want to blog and you don't want to go the whole hosting account and WordPress route, then check out blogger.com. 
If you have a business and you want to create a website for your business, then maybe go with Wix because they offer a free plan that allows you to design your site. And next, I recommend getting your custom domain names at Namecheap. And so when you're ready to upgrade your plan and you want to have your own custom domain name like mywebsite.com, it's a very simple process. You just go into your Namecheap account. You go into your advanced DNS settings. All you have to do is add in either C name or A name records, depending on what the company gives you. Click save. It's literally just copy and paste. Click save, wait, and then you are good to go. With that out of the way, what are the best free options to create a website for free? Let's jump into my laptop and begin. Number one is Wix.com. So this is a website builder, uh, very popular, the main competitor to Squarespace, and they allow you to create a completely free website, uh, but they do obviously <laughs> encourage you to upgrade your plan. And so the pricing for Wix is over here. You can connect a domain name for $4 a month. So that means that you can get your custom domain name at Namecheap. They also have the combo where you can get a free domain name, but these two options are really limited one gigabyte of bandwidth, two gigabytes of bandwidth, three gig, like this is, this is nothing. This is nothing. Most people are gonna to wanna to be on the $12 a month plan. So personally, what I would use do with Wix is, you, this you can create a completely free site. So this is my wixsite.com. This is just something that I created real quick and easy. So you can set up your own Wix site. And then when you're ready, I would upgrade to the uh, $12 a month plan because this gives you everything that you need. Unlimited bandwidth, 10 gigabytes of storage, you can connect your own domain name, and it removes Wix ads because, well, this is free, okay? It's a Wix site, but we got this banner right up top there that advertises Wix. It's not our own domain name. Wix sites have trouble ranking. It's like, it's much better to have like websitecreativepro.com than like websitecreativepro.wixsite.com if that makes any sense. But it is a viable option if you wanna create a website completely for free that's beautiful and stunning, and you just want something to share with friends or family, et cetera, or you just wanna test this out, see how you like Wix, and then make that purchase decision to upgrade your plan later on. That's why I, that's how I personally would use the uh, free option. So anyways, that's number one, Wix.com. Number two is Google Sites. So obviously I love Google Sites. Perfect option for anyone looking to create just a simple five to 10 page website. You're on, you, you get unlimited amount of pages that you can create with this and you don't get any weird Google Sites branding. Now the free version, you can just get set up quickly and easily, but it will be sites.google.com slash uh, your website. So, you know, if you want your own custom domain name, you're going to have to get it at Namecheap and then just set up a custom domain name within Google Sites. I have a tutorial on how to do that if you want to go that route. But Google Sites allows you to create a really beautiful, impressive website. And so this is Flip Resca. I think this is one of the best examples of what you can create with a Google Site. And so we got this GIF right here of uh, that creates the hero image right at the top. It looks really beautiful. Then you can embed videos, images, pages, um, social media links, whatever you want to add. And so if you've been looking to create a beautiful five to 10 page website, I definitely recommend checking out my Google Sites tutorial. So anyways, that's number two. Google Sites. Number three is blogger.com. So Blogger is owned by Google and you can create a free blog with blogger.com. So let's jump into it. So this is my personal blog. It's edgeofdavid.com and I'm paying Namecheap for this domain name, but I have completely free web hosting with Blogger. Now you don't have to set up a custom domain name and if you just wanna create a blog and get going, it's going to be a subdomain of blogspot.com. So this is my little test blog where it's travelforever.com. Uh, travelforeverblog.blogspot.com. So again, you can create a free site, a free blog with blogger.com, but just know that it's going to be a subdomain, but you can set up a custom domain name quickly and easily. I have a tutorial on how to do that on this channel that you can check out. But anyways, that's number three, blogger.com. Number four is card.co. So card.co is a one page website builder and it's my favorite new website builder. It allows you to create a one page website. So you want to create an about me website. You want to create some type of resource page, maybe a Instagram bio link website or an email opt-in form, whatever card.co allows you to do that. And best of all, they have a free plan. So with their free plan, you can create a website completely for free. Now it will be a subdomain of card.co. So this is my example site dot card dot co so if you want to upgrade your account so you can have a custom domain name from namecheap for example then you will have to pay for that but you can you can get started completely for free so all you have to do is click on choose a start
starting points. And then you'll be presented with a bunch of different templates that you can just open up and start editing. I have another tutorial video on how to create a beautiful card website if you want to follow along with that. But anyways, that's number four, card.co. And number five is webly.com. So Webly allows you to create a website for free and you get access to their templates. When you sign up, they have an intuitive hand-holding walk, walkthrough feature that helps you set up your website quickly and easily. They come with a bunch of different templates, a very easy editor to create and design a site. It's ideal if you wanna create like a blog or maybe a website for a podcast or like an online store, etc. So here's a quick site that I created within like 15 minutes. So it's myamazingyogawebsite.webly.com. I think it looks pretty good didn't take me that long and it's quick and easy to design it now we take a look at travel like a boss podcast this is one of my favorite podcasts and we can see this powered by webly sign over here but they're using a custom domain name so what's the deal so let's just go jump into their pricing plans now with webly they have their free basic use connected domain name pro and business so you're going to have to pay for pro or business to get completely get rid of all webly branding now if you pay for five dollars which is five dollars a month okay these are all monthly payments you're going to still have this a little bit of branding so uh, you got that some flexibility with your pricing compared to say like squarespace or wix where they at least allow you to like a cheap price where if you just want to connect the domain name so you can have a your own domain name.com instead of a subdomain that's what this option is for but in general i think most people are going to end up paying for the pro or business with Web Webly. But anyways, that's number five, webly.com. All right, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, consider subscribing, hit that like button, and I'll see you next video. My name is David, website creativepro.com. Have a great day and thank you.